Hello everyone, welcome you all back to my channel that is Youngsterdev and here I am Mukesh Kumar for you to bring free course to learn iOS development especially for those who are beginners and want to be an iOS developer as their profession. So without delaying anything, let's get started first with the contents step by step. Course for beginners. First step is introduction to iOS development. In this, this step, we will learn about what is iOS development. And it can be a question in an interview for you that what is iOS development. So after discussing all about step one, introduction to iOS development, you can come to know that what it is. So let's move to introduction to iOS development. So this is our iOS development and the development of iOS is about developing Apple's mobile operating system created and developed by Apple Incorporation. It is an operating system that presently power many of the company's mobile devices including iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. And for iOS development, what tools do we require? So first is machine, machine like your MacBook or any other PC like Windows PC or Linux PC. I would prefer you to have a MacBook because it's an Apple product and we are also going to develop Apple mobile operating system. So first step, MacBook is the product of Apple Incorporation which is used to run development tools that we will use on the run on Apple devices that is Xcode. So second step is interface builder. What the software do we need to run or to build or to develop iOS applications. So that's name is Xcode. So before going to Xcode, we should know that how it will work in PC. And what is PC? PC is any window PC or laptop, which can be also used to run macOS virtually by VMware to run Xcode software. Generally, uh, if we have some financial issues or already we have a Windows PC or laptop, so you can also run macOS virtually. What you need to do, I will make a separate video for that, that how you will install Xcode in Windows PC. So let's move to second step that is interface builder Xcode. What is Xcode? Xcode is basically the software which we will going to be used. Xcode is an integrated development environment that is IDE in short, containing a suite of software development tools developed by Apple for developing softwares for macOS, iOS, watchOS, and tvOS. Here we are discussing about only iOS, but Xcode is powerful that we can also make applications for MacBook, Watch, Apple Watch, or Apple TV as well. So how do we get this software? How do we get this Xcode? What do you need to do? Just go to your app store in your MacBook or in your PC. You need to search Xcode. That you will find like this and icon will be same as you can see so you can get this software free of cost you need not to pay anything okay and third step go back third tool is simulator and what is simulator let's discuss simulator is basically one of the part of your xcode which doesn't require to install separately no it is a part of xcode which is used to test builds of your applications during the development process it behaves like your iphone or ipad like you can find it in your xcode menu open developer tool and the ios simulator and you can also select any device in the ios simulator so this is your simulator looks like as it is a, as your iphone any of the iphone and next the programmer can have the option to choose simulator of any Apple device as shown at the top of the image iPhone 5 simulator this is the iPhone 5 simulator okay fine let's move to the fourth tool that is programming language and we, and we have two languages either of the language we can use so first is objective C and second is Swift so here we will only discuss about the Swift I have already made most of the videos on objective C but now this course is for Swift if you want uh, course for Objective-C as well, you can comment below 
and as per your demand i can avail the same course so let's go to the programming language swift and here is a swift swift is new programming language developed by apple incorporation for ios and mac os development swift adopts the best of c and objective c without the constraints of c compatibility swift language was released in 2014 by apple incorporation and today's the current version of swift is 4.2 let's check the code how how we can write the code in swift first of all we need to import the framework and framework name is cocoa in swift language and here is an example to declare a variable of type string where where is the type for declaring a variable and this is the name of string variable name equals to your string in double quotes and you can print this string so output will be the hello world in detail we will also discuss about the introduction to swift so today we have discussed only the first step introduction to ios development so i will discuss about the installation of xcode id and its tool means we will discuss about its features and options and how do we install this xcode so this is your mac screen and here is your doc and here i have option app store just click on it and let's wait to open here you have search option and you will type xcode press enter and here is your result xcode i have already installed in my macbook that's why it is showing open otherwise you will get you will see get option over here and when you click on this it will get started installing after installation of xcode just click on the launchpad and here you will find your xcode icon just tap on it click on it here you will get this screen welcome to xcode and here you will find the version of your xcode latest version is 10.1 here are the three options which we will use first is the playground where we can test our swift codings and second is the option when we want to create new xcode project and third one is the existing project which you want to open and on the right hand side you can open another project or the recent projects on which you are working on so we can click on second option create new xcode project this is the tool of xcode here i am showing you how to work on xcode and what are the options available to work on it so first of all this screen will be prompted here we have predefined templates for our projects like for ios we have such templates as we can see watch os tvos mac os cross platform we will not discuss about all these we will only discuss about ios and in this ios application we will choose the template single view application most of the time we use this first option so select this option and click on next button product name is the name of your project like i am giving my first project or my first demo anything you want team is the option when you have created your apple id or the provisioning profile from here you can select the team or the organization is provided any provisioning profile will be listed like so here you need to type your organization name if you you are not working for any organization you can put your name as i am i have mentioned organization identifier you can name it anything but it should be unique bundle identifier will be automatically generated and here is the language option where you can select swift or objective c we will select swift language we will discuss about all these three options later for now we will click on next button and where you want to save your project like i'm choosing documents create so we have created our new project here you can maximize it now here this is our project name my first demo and it we have a folder my first demo by default we have two files of swift language app delegate and view controller and this file is main.storyboard where we will design our screens assets 
assets means whatever the images we need we put in this folder launch screen is the splash screen which comes at the first point when you op open the application info p list we will also discuss about it later and on the right hand side as you can see first is the file inspector in the file inspector you have the name type location not needed much and the second option we have help inspector you can get help from our documentation then we have identity inspector where we can associate classes you will come to know later on what is mean for association of class and then we have attribute inspector attribute of particular object we can choose from here or set from here and then we have size inspector of the screens or the controllers and last but not the least is the connections inspector whatever the connections we made between between the object and the coding can be seen here in the connection inspector and this is the right bar left bar and the bottom bar by clicking this we can appear and disappear all these options right and this is the options for simulator as we already discussed about what is simulator simulator in simulator we have all types of iphones or ipads right and this is our view default view controller and this view controller file is associated with this controller so how can we check that by clicking on this we go to identity inspector and here you can see custom class class view controller so dot swift extension will not be shown but this view controller is the file name which is by default associated with that controller right next in the view controller we have a hierarchy like view controller then we have view then we have safe area then we have first responder exit storyboard entry point storyboard entry point means when you start building your project and you run the project so it will initiate from this view controller we can have more view controllers apart from this as well so i guess this is much enough uh, for xcode and one more thing this is the object library when you click on this we have lots of library objects like like another view controller, storyboard reference, navigation controller, table view, view controller, or like label, right? Where we can show a static text and how we can use it on this view controller, just click on it and drop to view controller. Yeah. And now <coughs> by selecting this label, just select attribute inspector, and here you can find like you can change its text, color, font size, alignment, all such options you can change it from here. Like I'm changing its text, my first screen, like so. So for today, this I guess this is much enough for you. We will soon come with another topic that is we have introduction to Swift programming language. I hope you have learned about the Xcode installation in this video and you like so please don't forget to hit like button share and subscribe my channel and also click on bell icon as well to get notified for my new videos instantly by doing so I come to know about your feedbacks so that I will make more improvements in my videos to make it more easier and user friendly thank you for watching this video I'll be come back with another topic on the same day till then take care bye bye Shapa here Wherever I go, wherever I see, I'll remember you, if you remember me.